Today I'm turning this into this. What's up guys, after popular requests, I'm gonna try and finish another song for my subscribers. I asked my Discord server to submit songs, link to that in the description, and this time I've chosen a bit of a more advanced sounding track than last time. As always, one of the first 500 commenters will win a free matching done by me, make sure to join the Discord server because I'm gonna do an exclusive sample bike over there with you guys very, very soon, but I'll shut up now and let's dive into it. So this song was sent in by Juan, so I'm just gonna skim through it to show you guys what kind of vibe the song is. So I love this, it's got a really sick vibe, good melodies, solid foundation. It's a bit more pro and advanced sounding than last week's episode, which is why I thought it would be interesting to see how I could finish something like this. But I'm just gonna add my own touch to it and see how it goes. So I've organized some more detailed stems here. I just got the MIDI down. But to finish this song, what I would focus on is try to make it a bit more unique. I really, really like the melody here. It's really dreamy and vibey and I love the chords as well. They're a bit edgy, but I like it. And I think this... It's really cool, but it sounds a bit muddy maybe, and it's a bit low, and I would really like something on top of that. So that's the main thing I hear, and I want to layer it with something on top. What I will also do is expand the melody a little, because now it's just... Three times. It's like sort of hinting towards an ending note here. I think you could go... And end it there, sort of. Because I feel like it's it ends the melody a bit, but I think it would sound a bit more... A bit nicer, I think. And then the second time around, we could... Something like that, just to... Make it a bit more catchy, because right now it's just that, which I think can get boring in the long run. So I think we have a great idea. I would record something on top of this, just as a top layer. So where's my phone? So I have another mic here somewhere, but I can't be bothered. So let's... Uh Guys, I'm just gonna do a couple takes and see what works. I never thought I would do this on camera. Please smash the like button. Okay, so this is either gonna suck or it's gonna sound good, I think. Let's uh, import it into the project. Okay, so we got the file here. I'm gonna add some effects here. Okay, so I've added some compression. Okay, so the chords in the drop should probably be F major, I think. Let's try that. F major. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put together some of the best takes and see how it sounds. Okay, I think we've got a semi-decent main lead. I'm gonna do dubs to either side, so just pretty much different takes on each side. Okay, so I think I actually like the melody just as a little ending here. Just like... So I'm starting to get somewhere with the dubs, let me continue, finish it up. Because I'm just adding it into a bus, putting some reverb and pulling out some mids from it. Because this main layer... It's gonna be most of the mids anyways. Okay, so now I put together sort of a rough thingy and I think it's sounding a bit rough around the edges, but I think it's adding something to the lead at least. I 
think it really needs a reverse into it so that it sounds more a bit more fluent. Let's do that and render it out. Control E, Control R, Enter, and then Alt Left. Because I saw a lot of you asking what the commands were when I did that super fast thing. And then you have a quick reverse. I think the ADSR, the Attack the Case Sustain release, is a bit different from what I added than the original because you see there's a bump here. There's a bit of an attack going on, but this is too constant. So I'm going to try and match that a bit. That sounds way better to my ears. Okay, so I added the note at the ending of the melody here. Which was just really low in volume, didn't really pop through, so I'm gonna try and add some synth here to accentuate that maybe. It's a D. Okay, so now I added this top layer on top of the synth, this is how it sounded before. And this is now. Sounds more messy, I think, but I think it's a bit more catching to the ear and you can recognize the melody a bit easier. It's not perfectly done at all, at all but I think it works for now. And I'm just gonna do another layer, one octave down here. I reduced the reverbs a bit because it was a bit too messy. Okay, so I've bounced it out. Let's put it in a new mix bus and put it 12 tones, 12 semitones down. Okay, so I think we've got something nice going here. I'm gonna go into the drop again later, but now I wanna jump into the verse. I think it's sounding a bit more clean to the ear. Let's start with the intro. This is how the song starts. This sounds sick to me. I love the ambience and everything. Ambience, ambience. But I um, think it would be a bit smarter to introduce the drop melody just slightly uh, in the background. Just filter down, I think. Let's try and see how that sounds. I think that would stream a lot better if it just gets straight to the point and you get the melody more often as well. I'm not gonna use the main thing here because it's just too heavy. So let's hear how it sounds like this. Let's add some more reverb here. Mm, let's also automate the volume here. So what I've done is I've taken off the sidechain as well, just it sounds more natural to the ear. I think the intro should end there because it's just, it just gets to the point a bit faster, but I really, really like it though and I sort of want to keep it as well, but I'm going to do it for now. So we need to make the transition a bit smoother. I've cut down the intro, let's add a filter here. And let's add another for this thingy. I think we need a reverse into the vocal. I think maybe this. Now you guys know the hotkeys, so I don't have to do that again, right? And let's add some reverb. What is she saying here? Make this hard on myself, I think. But I think in general, I want to lift the vocal a bit up from the mix. I think you could use some more presence in the 8K range. Um, I think there's something wrong with the vocal rhythm here. Because you got... Dun, 
There, it's, it's a bit rushed here, I think. Let's try and fix that. I think we're gonna add some rhythm elements right away here. Let's add a snap. I'm talking a lot. I'm gonna shut up now again. Let's go. Okay, they're really wide, the snaps. It's like almost too much, but I think it works for now. And I'm doing this manually so that they're all a bit different timing wise which i think sounds a bit more human and nice the rhythm thing it's a bit rushed here it sounds a bit bad but it's all i could do with uh, just having one take but this is what i would have done now this is how it sounded before just throws you a bit off the rhythm now it obviously sounds a bit ugly because i can't do much since it's just one file but Let's keep it as it is for now. Okay, I, I, I can't deal with this. I want to stretch it a bit and try and make it sound a bit better. Give me two seconds. It sounds a bit better to me now. You get the idea. I just stretch it a bit, but you get the point I'm trying to make. Uh, let's uh, add some more highs to this because I, I think I think it could pop a lot more the vocal. I think it's overall a bit too heavy on the bottom, on the butt of the vocal. But at the same time, you want it to be a bit chill and not too poppy. I think something that would help is to have like a doubler slap delay sort of thing on it. Let's try and add super tap. Let's load up the slap Elvis preset. That makes it a bit bigger and give it some more life. This is how it sounds without. This is with. Just widens it a bit and gives it a bit more life. This is just detail stuff. I should not be doing this right now when I'm trying to just... I, I don't know. Okay. And that one I like as well. I think we should compress it a bit. This vocal is a bit difficult to nail, I think. So this is how the vocal sounded before. And this is how it sounds after. Just slightly more spiced up, but I, I I didn't do it justice. I think I messed it up a bit. Let's continue. I think this. I really want to hear a bit crusher on this. And it's a bit bottom heavy. Maybe we can compress it a bit. And I also want to do maybe a delay here. something like that I think helps slightly at least and let's do some reverses because I like reverses I think only one is needed or else it's just too much let's add my favorite clap this one that Toby Green gave me a long time ago and I love it and I always use it and you can download it for free below in the sample stuff you can download a lot of samples there Just me or is this lead a bit too annoying?
I think I'm gonna reduce it in volume a bit. It, it was a bit too annoying. So that it sounds a bit chiller now. And we still have this going as the main thing. Let's put some bit crush on it. Maybe that works. Maybe bit speak it. Definitely needs some delay stuff. And a short reverb of some sort, I think. I think it's important to get into the groove before the drop hits, so adding a hi-hat here and maybe introducing it slowly with a filter could work a lot. Okay, so I think we've got a pretty decent arrangement going in the thing. such a good vibe in the song. I, I don't know, it's just got some magic to it, which is why I chose it. I really, really like this. I should do more of these episodes because it's a lot of fun to see what you guys come up with. It's a lot of fun, actually. So I think we should just get into the drop. Let's start from the bottom up here in the drop. Let's start with the kick. I think it's sounding pretty good, it's punching through, has a lot of highs, and it's just sounding pretty good. But let's listen to it with the sub. I think the sub bass, because it has such long spaces in between, I think we should add a sub to help fill it up. So those are the notes. I want pretty much just want to fill in these So that sounds good to me. Let's continue adding the claps. Sounds pretty good. I think we could limit it a bit. That's insane. We just gained so much headroom, but it almost doesn't sound any different before and after. But we gained like six dB or something. It's crazy. I really like that. The song has got such a good groove. It's really, really nicely done. Big shout out to John. Well done. Sick. It's limited a bit. Maybe we could pan it a bit. The hi-hats sound good as well, I think. I don't want to mess too much with the song in itself. It's a lot of really cool grooves here. I think it's starting to sound pretty smashed together, which is what I wanted. Let's add this. Now this has a lot of mids information in the middle, so I'm going to make this unique and add it to a new channel. Because I want to remove some stuff here. In the middle, frequencies. I want it out on the sides because it's messing too much with the lead. So just notice that this is in here as well. So I'm just going to mute this for now. And I've pretty much just done the same thing here and pan it out to the side. All these effects are really, really important here in the song to get the vibe with the vocal chop. It's really, really nicely done. Well, that has a lot of sub, which is going to conflict, I think, with this. Because this is up to 100 hertz, but this, I think, is it's doing the same thing, which is going to conflict, I think. Doesn't have to be any sub there, I think. Oof. It's 
really cool. I like that. Let's add some sidechain. I think this has a bit too much mids as well in the middle and some sub as well. Let's uh, bit crush it as well to get that popping. I think you could add some more harmonics to this one. Let's add this one now. Some side chain and some spark to this one as well in the top end. Now in general, I think the biggest thing for this song mix wise is that it, there's a lot of mids in the middle, which is gonna clean it up, I think, hopefully. So I think it's lacking a bit of a clap. I want it to not be too heavy of a mix either, even though I'm adding a lot of harder stuff and pushing it, I'm gonna chill it a bit. So I just added a limiter on the master as well, just to hear how it's gonna sound when it's a bit squashed and squeezed. Okay, let's start adding in the lead again. Oh, wait, we have this. Very important for the vibe, but it is very loud. Adding a little slap delay to the clap. Okay, so I think the bass elements now are sitting quite nicely in the mix. Let's add the vocal. Let's add that stuff on top. I think we should introduce the drops melody thingy slightly. Pretty much just how we did it in the intro thingy. I'm actually ditching the whole last part here. Just sound a whack. I don't have time to make that sound good. I really like this arp that comes in here. It's such a good vibe. So I think we should play more on that when it comes in here. Maybe let's just let's just skip this whole part and just go straight into it maybe. That sounds sick to me. And also this. Oh, that's so sick. So I heard that I wanted the clap to be a bit wider because this is how it sounds now. There's just so much going on in the middle, so I wanted at least to have a layer out in the wide. This is super wide. Let's try and use that. Okay, so I like that. That works for now. I love this ARP. It's got such a good vibe and it's just the perfect B part of the drop. So I think we're just gonna keep it as that is and then go into the vocal and everything once that is done playing. Let's try and do that. So I just doubled it pretty much into this. I would usually just continue with the kick here, but we get these, we keep these going. So it feels new and fresh in the second verse. And then we just go into the same thing. So I think that's pretty much what I would do to finish the record. This is how it sounded before the drop. So I haven't done much at all. I've just sort of done the small finishing touches because the bass was already there. So this is how it sounds now. So 
I really haven't done much. Great job, John. I loved working on this song and I hope you don't hate me now for doing this. Like the video. If you liked the video, please comment if you commented and thanks for watching. <laughs> Let me know if you want to see more of these videos and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.